Steve, you sound so serious. What did you have to tell me? Well, if I were in your position, I don't think I'd be so quick to criticize me and my family. What position? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your friend, Grace, or your ex-friend, Grace, the woman whose life you destroyed. From what I hear, she's coming back to harmony. I'm sure she'll have a few choice words for you when she finds out what you did. You know, I really wouldn't want to be you when you have to face the wrath of little Gracie. I'm so sorry, Grace. For what? I've betrayed you. I've betrayed you in the worst possible way. Eve, you have been my rock, my coach, and my angel. still be flat on my back if, if it wasn't for you. I want everybody to know how special you are. The kind of miracle that you worked. Come save a dance for me, baby. I'm gonna come to Kay's shower. I'm gonna surprise you. Kay, listen, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah, there's something that I have to talk to you about too, Miguel. Miguel, I love you so much. And I love you. I'm not sure you want to hear what I have to say. Please tell me how I can get Luis out of my system, because everything that I've tried so far has not worked. I can't seem to get this image of Luis and Fancy kissing out of my head. And it's all I can do to not think of Luis and Fancy making love at that B&B. &B. But what is wrong with me? I shouldn't be focusing on Luis. I should be focusing on Chris and James. They are my family now. They are my future, not Luis. I mean, I think the problem is that you love Luis far too much to ever let him go. No, that can't be it. I'm, I'm not obsessed with Luis. Valerie, I am not waiting to warn Teresa about Jared. You saw the same proof that I did on the computer, all right? The guy is up to no good at all. I'm gonna get her away from him before it's too late. Go to Eve. 
can't show how much you love her. Eve, you're my best friend. How could you possibly betray me? Oh, Grace. I don't even know where to start. I'm so ashamed. I don't even know how I dealt with the guilt all this time. Eve. You're scaring me. I want you to know, Grace, that I never meant to hurt you. I just, I just felt powerless to resist. Eve, what did you do? Oh, God. Father, don't you think you've drank enough? My alcohol consumption should be the least of your problems. Please allow me one of the few pleasures I have left. Focus on Kay. You have to be there to help mend her heart when this little drama with Miguel plays out. Kay, what is it? You, you seem upset. Do I? Yeah, you do. Well, maybe I have a right to be. Of course. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sure tonight's been hard for you. <laughs> you have no idea. I guess it didn't go so well when you told Fox you're calling off the wedding to be with me. Well, what difference does it make now? Well, I know you hated the idea of hurting him. <laughs> Why do you care? Why? Because I love you, Kay. Oh, my God. You are unbelievable. Do you know that? You're incredible, too, in so many ways. How could I not love you? Oh, I could think of at least one reason. I'm sorry, am I missing something? Yeah, you are. A lot's happened since I went to tell Fox about us. So did you? Does he know you're leaving him to be with me? Gwen, I'm not in love with Luis. I mean, I... I won't deny that I have feelings for him, but that's not the problem here. The problem is Luis and Fancy being together. That I can't seem to get a grip on. Well, <clears throat> I think that maybe you're so worked up about them because you are still in love with Luis. And you're jealous now, you know, because he's with Fancy. But you know I gave Luis and Fancy my blessing to be together. Then why did you stalk them? I didn't stalk them. I simply followed them because I was worried that they were taking things too far too soon. OK. Um, <clears throat> maybe it's because you're afraid that once Luis commits to fancy that he will never be with you again. Well, that would mean that I'm petty and selfish. No, it wouldn't. Not if you still love him. But I, I gave Luis my blessing to be with fancy. Well. I mean, maybe that was wrong for you to do that. Really? Look, if you want Luis back, you have to tell him how you feel. But Luis is with Fancy. So they'll both hear it at the same time. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but the longer this goes on, the more awkward and painful it's going to be for everyone involved. Sheridan, you have to go find Luis right now and tell him that you want him back.
don't know. The circus is coming to town. I'd love to take you and little Lisa. Well, we would love to go. Okay. I'll make a date. Uh. <clears throat> well, I, I, um, I, I, I told Ethan that uh, we would go with him to, to the circus. Oh, well, that's all right. Um, we'll go to the zoo instead. Oh uh, no. Mm -mm. Okay, we can go to Mystic Seaport. We'll, we'll make a day of that. No, no, um, no. I'm just gonna cancel with Ethan so we can go instead. You don't have to do that. No, oh, I want to. Yeah, I mean, you're the man in my life and my son needs to get used to the three of us doing things together. All right, you sure? I'm positive. Yeah, just let him know that we're gonna go to the circus. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to think you're taking this relationship uh, seriously. I am. Oh, hold that song. Gotta go use the bathroom quick. Okay. Good evening. Jared's not leaving Harmony, and we have a chance to make things right again. Just have to remember that he's my future, not Ethan. Oh. Oops, oops. I'm coming. I'm here to protect you from Jared. I was weak, Grace. I was so weak and I was so afraid. She knew all about my past and she threatened to expose me if I didn't do what she said. Sam told me about your past in Boston, the drinking the drugs, the casual sex. So then you know that Julian and I thought we were Chad's parents. Well, yes, but it turned out that you aren't. No. And if I had thought that the truth would come out anyway, I, I just would have stood up to her. But I was so... I was so desperate not to just lose everything that I had worked so hard for. And just the thought of TC and the girls hating me was just... It was more than I could bear. If you said she, that, that she threatened to come out with your past. Ivy. It was Ivy. She's been blackmailing me for years, Grace. She wanted me to help her to be with Sam instead of you. No, Eve, that's not possible. You would have told me you would have warned me somehow god grace i wanted to but but what eve it gets worse it's it, it's horrible grace it's just horrible what could be worse than what you just told me i knew that ivy was using david hastings to break up your marriage and I, I didn't tell you. I just kept quiet. Are you still there, Grace? You knew, and you kept quiet. Yes. I'm so sorry. You? Miserable, selfish bitch. I hate you, Eve. I hate you. It killed.
kills me to be hurting Kay like this. Oh, she'll be fine. <laughs> You'll see to that. <laughs> so did you tell Fox we want to be together? Well, you would know if you hadn't disappeared. <laughs> disappeared? I've been looking all over for you, Kay. Oh, you were. Where were you? Now, where were you? I went to buy you flowers, Kay. I wanted to remind you that I love you and that I know that dealing with Fox tonight has been so hard for you. Oh, so where are the flowers? You know, the only place that was open this late was the gas and go. And they didn't have any, so I came back empty handed. Mm, so that's where you were at this whole time, looking for flowers? Yeah. I'm sorry I took so long. I guess I just lost track of time. Damn you! Damn you for lying to me! Ugh. I still have a temperature. Are you okay? God, you took so long in the bathroom, I thought maybe you were getting sick yourself. That's sweet of you to worry. I'm, I'm feeling much better now about things. Well, good. So you're gonna take my advice and tell Luis you want him back? I can't. Sheridan, I am up. finished with Luis. No, you are not. You yes. still love him. I am finished with Luis. I cannot risk losing Marty again. Marty. Don't you mean James? Uh, <laughs> did I say Marty? Of, of course, yes. I, I mean, <laughs> I mean James. I, I can't risk losing James like I did Marty and my baby with Chris. Oh, my God. I think she's having a nervous breakdown. Um, have you thought that maybe part of the reason you're upset with Luis is because you're still grieving for Marty? Gwen. You and I both know a mother never gets over the loss of a child. But I have come to terms with the death of Marty and my baby with Chris. Just like you had to come to terms with the death of Sarah. Now, wait a second. That was Teresa's fault. Teresa killed my Sarah. You know, you talk about my obsession with Louise. What about your obsession with Teresa, your fear that she'll steal Ethan away from you again? I'm not worried about that anymore. Well, maybe you should be, because it's obvious that you're not over the fact that she stole Ethan away from you once before. In fact, I think you're afraid that she'll do it again. How did you know I was here? I tracked you down through little Ethan's nanny, OK? I knew you'd tell her where you were. Okay, so you lied to the nanny to find me? I suspected that you were here with Jared. Yeah, where is he, by the way? He's in the bathroom, Ethan, why? He's been playing you. He's not legit, and I can prove it to you. You are my passion for life. I hate myself, Grace. I hate myself for failing you my best friend. You knew what Ivy was doing to me and Sam and my children, and not only didn't you stop her, but you helped her? Damn you, Eve. Damn you straight to hell. Well, that is where I have been ever since I first did Ivy's bidding. I thought you were a good person. A saint, practically. You railed against the crane, saying how horribly they treated people when you were just as bad, no worse. You're a horrible, treacherous backstabber, you Judas. All right. I'm going to go follow them so I can hear what they say. Oh, good to the last one. <laughs> Father, did you hear what I said? I'm going after Kay and Miguel. You're fine. Yes, do you must. All right, I'm going to go fall after them. I'm all the things that you say I am, Grace. And if you think you hate me now, I loathe myself even more. 
I don't know how to begin to tell you how sorry I am that I let all those horrible things happen to you and your family. Save your breath, Eve. I will never forgive you for what you did. You are as evil as Ivy. No, you're worse, and you will pay. You will pay dearly for hurting me and my family. As God, as my witness, Eve, you are going to pay. <laughs> Beautiful life. How did it all come to this? I'll tell you, Eve. I'll tell exactly what you did wrong. Julian, you're drunk. No. You should never. You should never have left me. When father kept us apart years ago, you should have made me. Stand up to him. You should have made me fight for you. If you had, then we would have been together all these years. There would have been no ivy, no no PC, no mess. Mm -hmm. Just the two of us, just happy and in love. Yes. Now it's my fault that we're not together. Julian, do me a favor. Go home, sober up. Oh, please come with me. Please come. Don't you know? I still love you. All those things. I I said I I didn't mean them. I said them out of anger and God. I still want you. We can, we can get it right this time. I know we can. Julian, stop it. I know you still love me. Julian, I mean it. Let me go. You can't deny me. You can't deny me. Don't you understand? I want you. And by God, I'm going to have you. Oh. Oh. Julian, stop it. Okay, wait. Okay. Tell me what you think I lied to you about. Are you really going to stand there and pretend that you don't know? Oh, I get it. I know why you called me a liar. This is it. The end of Kay and Miguel. Some guy trying to have a smoke in his room, set the damn thing off. <laughs> this is the owner. All guests need to evacuate the B&B &B immediately. This is not a drill. All guests need to evacuate the B&B &B immediately. Oh, my God. Let's make tracks. At this rate, we're never going to make love. It's like someone's conspiring against us. If one of us is obsessed with a man, it's you, not me. Well, call me obsessed if you want. I call it being vigilant. But the bigger picture here is letting go of someone if they die or if a relationship ends is really hard. OK, I have had a hard time letting go of Luis, but hey, I've done it. Who is she kidding? I would like to believe that, but the way you followed Luis and Fancy tonight says otherwise. I think the thought of them being intimate together is making you crazy. You know, I would spend less time analyzing me and more time worrying about Ethan if I were you. Excuse me? The whole town knows that Ethan loves Teresa more than he loves you. So why don't you just get it over with and divorce Ethan now before he has a chance to leave you for Teresa? Come with me back to Crane. I need to show you what I found on this guy. He's not the man you think he is. Wait a minute, Ethan. You went snooping around at Crane? Look, I suspected there was something wrong with him from the beginning, and I was right about it. Now get dressed and come with me right now. No. I am not going anywhere with you. What are you did you not hear me? I told you I have proof that this guy is not on the up and no, up, Teresa. I heard you, Ethan. I just don't believe you. Why would I lie? I don't know. Uh, stop me from moving on. Oh, my God. This is not about you and me. This is about you and Jared. Okay, so, so are you still in denial, Ethan, or do you actually know that this time you're lying to me? I'm trying to get you to understand that this guy is not who you think he is. He's a bad guy. He's been lying to you. Oh. 
Oh, like I was trying to prove to you how Gwen has been lying to you for outing you as a Bennett to the tabloid and then framing me for Lisa, it? difference. I have proof here. Well, I had proof. No, I'm, I'm sorry. JT actually had the proof, but somehow he lied to protect your wife. Don't mix up these issues, okay? You need to come with me right now and let me show you what I found on this guy. He is not a good guy. You don't need to be around him, and you need to get the hell away from him right now. Julian, you ripped my clothes! Well, then get out of here. Uh, I want you here, and I want you right now. You're a more disgusting drunk I'm tired of you sober. playing hard to get. You're going to give yourself to me. You're going to make up for leaving me. Uh, you left me, and, and it was a blessing in disguise, Julie, because I'm, you're not the man that I was in love with. I'm going to make you love me. You're going to give yourself to me whether you like it or not. Stop it. No! <laughs> I hurt you to win you back, eh? But I promise I'll make it up to you. I will spend the rest of my life being a better father and husband than Miguel ever could be. Wait, you called me a liar because I said I wouldn't pressure you about telling Fox about us, but here I am demanding to know if you did. That's why you think I called you a liar. What else could it be? We love each other, Kay. We decided to be a real family with Maria, but we're stuck until Fox knows the truth. Oh, my God. You're unbelievable. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, I would. Look, I know it's hard to hurt someone you love when you love someone else more, but that's what it's come down to, Kay. <laughs> I was so not ready for that. That's it. Kay thinks that Miguel's chosen charity over her. Anybody here know what happened? Oh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I, I don't know what's going on. You mean there's no fire? Well, that's just it. Somebody reported a fire directly to the fire department. They called me to say that they were on their way. I set off the fire alarm to alert everyone, but... I haven't smelled any smoke or, or seen any flames. Who here reported the fire? I didn't, I didn't yeah. Okay, did anybody smell smoke or see flames? No. Well, I, maybe we missed someone when we checked the rooms on our way out. No, 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 this is everyone. Okay, but since there isn't a fire, can we go back inside now? Yeah, we really want to get back to, to uh, bed. Mm -hmm. I I'm sorry. Uh, due to my insurance policy, we have to wait for the fire department to get here before we can go back inside. Oh. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> it's hard being stuck out here wanting to go back in. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. Let's go to a motel. Yeah, whatever's closest. Okay. Oh, no, wait, wait. Uh, our clothes, our money, credit cards, they're all inside. Damn it! <laughs> we'll be back in our room soon. Not soon enough. <laughs> you are so out of line. Why are you trying to hurt me when I'm trying to help you? Uh, you are not helping me by telling me what to do. You just told me to get it over with and divorce my husband. No, no, no. Before that, go tell Luis you want him back. Really, Gwen, where is your brain? I am perfectly content with my husband and son, and you think that I should just desert them because you think it's a good idea. Either my fever is making me hallucinate, or she is totally losing control. OK. OK. You say you are content with James and Chris. What's your point? Is, uh, is James the only reason you're staying with Chris? Because you've made him a substitute for Marty when you know in your heart you are still in love with Louise. <sighs> Jess, is everything all right? Um, yeah, everything is fine. All right, all right, come on, come on, come on. We gotta go. You gotta ditch this guy now. It's not gonna happen. He's my past. You're my future. 
I love you. You're not gonna use me to try and make Ethan jealous. No more playing games. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I, I may be a fool, but I do believe you. I'm glad you believe me. Now just make love to me. Anywhere with you, I'm actually gonna stay right here. Teresa, you know Jared what? Is... If you don't leave, I'm gonna call the cops. I'm gonna have you arrested for stalking me. Okay, uh, you're not serious. No, I'm totally serious. Now you've been telling me for years and years and years. Move on, Teresa. Well, you know what? I am moving on, and you're you're just coming up with, with these crazy excuses to stay close to me. Teresa, I'm not making this up. I have proof that he is not a good guy. Okay, you shouldn't be around him. Well, did it ever occur to you that maybe I'm in the mood for a bad boy, Ethan? That, that maybe I'm just I'm tired of a certain goody two-shoes who didn't have the brass to leave his wife to be with me? All right, listen. No, no, no. You, you, no, I don't want you here. Go, get out. Stay away. Teresa, what are you... Ugh. TC, you're in no condition to exert yourself. Don't let Julian hurt you. Damn you, TC. You monster. Oh. You touch TC again and I'll kill you myself! TC, oh, you poor thing, you've suffered so much already. I just dicked a man recovering from a stroke. You are despicable, Julian. Despicable! Look, nothing hurts more than being in love with someone who loves someone else. But Fox is strong, okay? And losing you to me isn't gonna kill him. Yeah, but his illness will. You know what I meant. Look, I know it is a horrible feeling to love someone and know that they are sleeping with someone else. Fox will get over it. Fox? To you, this is about Fox? And us. No, there is no us anymore. We are finished. We're over. We're done. I'm marrying Fox, and as far as I'm concerned, you can go to hell. Do you really want to be with Chris? Or are you only with him because of James? Are you saying that I don't love my husband? Sheridan, I'm just trying to help you sort out your feelings. You know what? You're doing exactly what Eve did to me. Peppering me with questions. Trying to make me feel like I'm crazy. Well, I'm not saying you're crazy. You're definitely not acting like yourself. But well, whatever I am, I can manage my life all by myself. Oh, come on. No. Some friend you are. All you've done is confuse me and make me feel worse than I was before. Would you please wait. Don't do anything without thinking. Or you're going to make a big mistake. Hey. Oh. <gasps> Everything all right? I thought I heard I argued with someone. Uh, I, um, it was just this guy that I was, I answered the door to and he had no idea what he was talking about. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, some guy upset you. I love you, Jared. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Make me forget about him, please. I'm sorry, TC. I, I, I had so much to drink. And... Go away and leave us alone. I remembered when you and I were us, Eve. Not anymore, Julian. Not anymore. Now, please leave. Bastard. No, it's okay, TC. He's not worth it. Julian's not worth a damn.
What did you say? I said go to hell. I'm gonna marry Fox. But we love each other. Leave me alone. I don't want to see you again. You know the rules of the game, Miguel. All is fair in love and war. Losing to you is not an option. Besides, she'll be better off with me anyway. As will Maria. Go, let Miguel have it. I have proof that this guy is not who he says he is. You should go. Oh, no, bitch, you ain't going anywhere.